guys! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable makeup, but today is Friday. That means Friday is a, a drag. <laughs> and today is the 13th episode of my series and that means we're doing 13th episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13, episode 13. And this is Olivia Lux look. She went home, spoiler alert as usual, and we're doing this. Olivia looks smiley. <laughs> so if you guys are interested to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. So like, give this video a thumbs up, and comment. Let's get right into this fabulous tutorial. So just a couple of words before we begin. So if you're watching, this was the 13th episode and this was the top five and now we got top four. So I'm very excited for the finale. So, well, finale is coming in a few weeks, <laughs> but anyway. So Olivia Lux lip sync against Candy Muse. I agree that they both didn't do the best and I agree with the judge's decision, judge's, RuPaul's decision because it's her show. So she put her on the bottom and I knew she was gonna go home because Olivia was the weakest out of them all. Candy wasn't all that hot either, but she's got comedy, she's got attitude, she's got acting. She's been pretty good actually. So I'm glad she stayed, although I do love my diva. So I really enjoy doing this because Olivia Lux has the style that I like as well. And I named myself La Diva Deluxe, so kind of similar. <laughs> so I also like that she's sweet and I like everything about her drag pretty much. So we're gonna be doing this look. And I'll show you my steps, the usual spiel. So let's get right into this. So let's get started. I'm very excited for this one. Well, I always say this, but I do love Olivia's face and I like the diva style. I'm like, I'm a diva myself, so I can relate. <laughs> so her application's a little different from other queens. Uh, usually they start with foundation, then highlighter, then contour. Well, she highlights first. So I us as usual, I already blocked my eyebrows. I have almost no eyebrow hair. I have old tattoo, a permanent makeup, so I just covered up with concealer. If you need an eyebrow tutorial, as I always say, just uh, look it up on YouTube. Pretty much Elmer's glue, you know, go ham on it. So I'm using my Light Forever Foundation 102. And I'm going to link the video I was looking at here. So this is gonna be Olivia Lux, uh, mad scientist look. I'm just looking down at my iPad. It's plain right now. But anyway, it's a 12 minute video. So she explains her steps. So the steps are the same. The colors are different. So that makes my work easier. So I'm going to use my old sponge. I found old, old technique sponge. It's slightly busted and stained. I'm trying to go through my sponge drawer and just like go through them and whichever the old ones, just use them up, you know, uh, spring cleaning, I would say. So Ferrara 1 or 2 is very light, so that's uh, she starts with highlight and then she goes even lighter. So I'm just gonna go... Um, yeah, she goes like everywhere. I'm just looking at her video. She doesn't just highlight in the middle of her forehead. She like goes over the eyebrows. She also lifts, like leaves those eyebrows here, like this uh, beginning of eyebrow of her own, but... I would rather just draw artificial eyebrow because Natural, we don't know her. So next she applies a lighter a concealer, highlight. She uses sticks like most of them do, but we don't do sticks here. We're on the budget, so I'm gonna use Revolution Conceal and Correct Light. And uh, this is LA Girl Pro. But uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm not using the Mayron White anymore, I do use it sometimes on my face, but I find that Mayron gives me a low texture. Like when I set it as powder, I, I see like lines, you know, and like it kind of gets very cakey. So I have to figure out how to work with that one. But for now, I just want to go easy. So light is white in my world because we're extra. 
So I'm pretty much applying in the same areas, but like, so she does not contour her nose with cream contour. So I'm just gonna go with that and just follow her tutorial because we're gonna go through similar steps. So next she goes with a darker foundation around the edges and mix in the two, 104, 105. And that gives me a darker color. I'm just gonna go with another side of the sponge. And I think I put it way too much on my hand, but we are drag queens, we're supposed to be extra. <laughs> and we're creating, like Olivia says, we're creating an egg face. She has this heart-shaped face, it's so pretty. I sort of do too, but hers is more like a narrow hair thing. And then she goes with the contour, so I'm using my usual, you know it. This is one wild stick and this is color 806, where is walnut. And the usual contour doesn't look like it differs much from anybody. I'm gonna try to round up the cheeks because she has very like rounded feminine cheekbones and narrow chin. Look, her chin is smaller than mine. I have like a huge chin compared. <laughs> Now set it all with air spun and I'm going to add a little bit of white, ultra white mayron to the highlighted areas to make sure the reels stand out. Just put a little white here. So she bakes like right off the bat, so let me just put all the white here. Okay, I think I spent like the last 10 minutes just to do doing one eyebrow maybe longer because it's very important to achieve the right eyebrow shape uh, because eyebrows make the queen look and everybody has their own distinct look and Olivia definitely does hers and it's very thick. I might thicken them later with powder but now I'm going with the same counter stick and we're gonna make them real thick. So I'm gonna start where my eyebrow, natural eyebrow starts around here, maybe slightly higher. Just gonna start drawing and make sure the match, of course. And she has kind of like a very thick uh, arch here. I like that, I'm not mad at it. And the arch is quite far out. She just uh, sketch and then I'm gonna clean up underneath. I'm gonna use Mehron Clown White for the cleanup because it works fine for under the eyebrow. Olivia's brow is a little darker, but I have lighter skin tone, obviously, so I'm just gonna stick with this color. Let's clean up with the Mayron Clown White. It's just a skinny brush. Uh, let's hope they're gonna match. So I started on this eye, obviously. I was looking for a palette that I haven't used in a while. It has a lot of purple. Almost went for Murphy 39S. Morphe 39S that I used in my Get Ready With Me video, it was like a few weeks ago, but I haven't really touched Nervina palette in a long time, and I got this palette, the volume one, I got this a while ago on sale, and I haven't used it in a long time, and it's so pigmented, this is not a joke, people. So I'm gonna go through all the purples here to create the purple Olivia Lux look. I'm going, to, by the way, by the show look, not by Instagram picture. I'm just gonna reference to Instagram picture a little bit, but I like the depth and the real purple look on the show kind of a little better because it's more like deep. So I'm gonna go with this. So purple, this one, this is B4. I'm gonna go to A2. I'm gonna go to white C1. And maybe a little bit B5 too. So I'm gonna start with B4 and go in the outer corner. And Olivia has very lifted eye. So I'm gonna try to hike my eye up. And it's already creasing. So I'm pressing it and lifting immediately up. And then when I put eyelashes, I'm gonna make some new eyelashes, the ones that's really hyped up. 
Let's start to bring it in immediately. It looks like she uses a lot of a light color in the middle to kind of give a halo eye-ish look, but it's not real halo eye. But she has this kind of lightness in the middle, that's why I put this down a little bit. So I'm gonna go with B5, which is a little warmer purple. Put it in the inner corner. I'm all baked, so I'm not worrying about fallout. I'm going to connect it here, but I'm going to add white eyeshadow in the middle anyway. Now you guys have this palette. I forgot how beautiful this was because I haven't touched it in a while. Now I'm like, the pigmentation is incredible. This like, not a joke, this pro pigments. So blend out the edge just a little bit here. And then I'm gonna go to A2 color, which is a lighter purple. Lighter purple, but it's very, very elusive. It's very dark too. Everything is very pigmented in this palette. So I'm using, at first I used the B Spectrum, not B, A12. And second, I'm using B11. Go into A2. So this is a lighter color, but it's still very dark. So I actually did use Beauty by Pastels a little bit because without the pastels, it comes out a little bit too uh, hard to blend, I'd say. So I'm gonna go deep into the pastels now, in between these colors, the purple and like a warmer purple. I'm using a bigger brush, the Spectrum B10. I love those Spectrum brushes, you guys. Ever since I got them on sale, I keep going back to them. I keep going back to Jessup, but then back to Spectrum because I like Spectrum better, I think. Not a thing, I know, I like Spectrum better. So now I'm going just any flat brush, pretty large. Um, using this for the white and the C1 in Norvina palette. I'm just going to press this before it gets all muddy because I want this uh, brow bone to be real white. So now I'm taking a small pencil brush. This is just from BoxyCharm Moda Brush, Detail BMX 420. And we're going to black, which is D5. I'm not lifting the palette because you can use any black pretty much. Norvina black is amazing. Makes me want to do another look with it. So I'm just dipping it out a corner. Looks like she has a lot of black here, so I'm gonna extend it into the eyelid she's got glitter all over here but it's mostly like almost like just a half and most of it is covered in black so i'm just gonna do that and then i'm gonna apply glitter so i used nyx glitter glue and i'm going to morphe 24a uh, i was looking for the purple glitter the perfect shade of purple i couldn't find any I mean, when you need the perfect shade of glitter, it's always a little bit off. So I'm gonna mix this purple, my drop, and a little bit of this one, invite only, to create a little lighter shade. So I'm using an already messed up brush because I tried all kinds of things on this eyeball. <laughs> Pretty much layered all kinds of glitters until I came to a conclusion that this is it. So it's time to line, and she used the liquid eyeliner and then black eyeshadow. I kind of do it all. I'm going extra. I put the black already. I put the eyeliner and put more black on top because I'm extra like that. <laughs> I'm using the ABH eyeliner, the one that came with the the palette actually when it was on sale. Cause why not? So it's gonna be very thick, very kind of upright. I'm using the same sound effect for everything. It's this match sound effect. If something is matched, it has to be a <laughs> Now, I think I'm getting a little EBI now. Very upright. So, brush with the black and we're gonna extend this a little bit and blend it. And then I'm gonna extend the purple into a little lash line and make it more blended. So now I'm doing the white in the waterline and I use the Beauty Creations gel liner. I was so impressed with this brand. 
when I was reviewing this. So I decided to keep using it because so far I really like, like this pencil. I'm using the pot gel liner white to create this flick in the inner corner. And this pot gel liner is really bright too. And it sets itself, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna add a little more purple on the low lash line. And we can go on to the lashes. Favorite part. I mean, everything is my favorite part, right? When you drag, you do drag, just feeling it. I'm going to B4, back to deeper purple. And using a little bit of pastels, back to the lighter purple shades here. So I dusted it off and now we're going to contour her. I'm gonna go for my NYX palette. I'm just gonna go to these two medium shades. It doesn't look like Olivia Lux real cuts the contour like with a card and anything sharp. So I'm just gonna make it easier for me. I do like to be extra and cut stuff, but we're going with her tutorial. She doesn't cut her nose with thin lines either. I was wondering, kept watching the tutorial, like, where is the nose? Olivia, where is the nose? Where did it go? And she just does it like with a little bit of contour. I'm not mad at it because sometimes it's just so time consuming and just doesn't look all that great. But I'm extra, usually I like sharp nose, but I'm gonna strain myself. Using Beauty Bay Bronzer, I'm gonna bronze a little bit. She goes ham on highlighter, by the way, in the video. I don't know if she did any on the show. Might not have, but in the video tutorial, she's highlighting for the gods. And she's my kind of girl. That made me so happy. She highlighted, then she sprayed herself, and she highlighted herself again. I'm like, yes, yes. That's how we do it. So for the blush, I'm using ABH blush I got in TJ Maxx for a very, very good price. I have this trio. I haven't touched this in a while. I'm gonna go in between these two shades. This is too purple and this is uh, more of a peachy. So I'm gonna go in between these two. I wanna get this tone because the makeup is so purple. So this kind of matches. Going to highlight, I'm gonna use my friend's Rebecca's uh, advice to get this highlighter. It's Daybreak Glimmer by Revlon, and this is 201. I got this in Walmart, and Rebecca was right, it's amazing. Next spray, I'm trying to use this up <laughs> the Morphe spray. I'm going to top this highlighter with my bougie Natasha Denona palette. It has this glittery shade here. So I'm gonna top this a little more to make it extra blinding. So I put mascara on, just the Lash Princess, and I cut pieces of my eyelashes off the edge and I stack like three pair, three pieces here on the outside because Olivia's eyes are very pulled up and she doesn't have much here. So I left this out and I lift this up, lift them, lifted them up, lifted them up. I'm getting a ton twisted. I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> so I'm using Colourpop lip liner and it's dark brown, it's BFF3. I'm gonna outline. She does not overline her lips hugely. So I'm just gonna slightly overline. Trying to decide on the lipstick color. She has like a pinkish but brownish color. So I'm trying to get the right shade. I'm using this free lipstick that came with one revolution purchase. The Pro Supreme lipstick in a color venture. It's brown and just a bullet lipstick. Now I'm going to top this with a Wet n Wild, a liquid cat suit in the color Rebel Rose. Because I want to add a little purple to it. Then I'm going to top it with a uh, lip gloss because she likes to be glossy for sure. So that's a look with a little lip gloss. I'm feeling Olivia-esque. Let me put some wig on 
and something purple or silver here and we're gonna be ready for the reveal and this is a final reveal so mm, I like the purple I'm really feeling it so how do you like my look peace I mean, it's Olivia-esque, of course it can look exactly like the person because I don't have her face, clearly, but uh, I think I got the eyes, the lips similar-ish, she's got that real narrow chin so I don't have the same shape, and the wig is not as big, but this is Amazon wig, you get what you get and you don't throw fit. So. <laughs> The color is very similar. She has like a purplish silver color. There's some purple here, so it's one of my kind of flowy tops. And my favorite earring just broke off. I was going to wear this. And look at this sucker. You probably don't care, but <laughs> I was just put it on, was ready to put it on. I mean, I don't remember where I got it from, clearly. It's a cheap stuff, but it was great for drag. Now it's bye bye. I need to go to Amazon and purchase some more earrings. That's what I feel like. So, what do you guys think? I love the Libya Lux. Obviously, she didn't get to top four, and we got our top four. Very excited. So, we got Gutmik, we got Simone, we got Candy Muse, and we got Rose. I'm rooting like for a couple of them now, so I'm like. I'm like torn. Rosé been one of my favorites in the beginning. Then I got into Gottmik. Then I got into Simone. I'm still like torn. I really want Rosé to win now, or or Gottmik. And I'm still partial to Simone, but I think it's between Rosé and Gottmik for me. I'm like completely torn now. <laughs> but yeah, I love Olivia Lux. So she's very sweet, and she's got a diva style that I love. So I really enjoyed doing this look. So comment below as usual if you guys enjoyed this look. Who is your top favorite? Who do you want to win? I'm like, I'm so undecided. I can't even pick one right now. But I'm between Rosé and Gottmik, I think. So leave me a comment. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Give this big, big thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box. Do please subscribe to my channel, I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all the new content. I also go live every Monday and also have a Patreon group. Huge, huge thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here for me. The link to my Patreon group is in the description box as well. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next fabulous video. <laughs> Bye!